You'll see it coming. You'll see. Oh, yeah. We missed Vriska Day. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. We missed Vriska Day. Sorry about that. Anyways, let's get to Homestuck, shall we? Yeah! I've, it's the first time I've ever played any Persona games. It's pretty good! Pretty good, I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna... do something real quick. One second. Uh... Da -da -da. Tweeting, no, I'm not, what am I talking, I'm not tweeting anything. Okay, now I'm ready. So this is where we left off. Uh, last time, if you remember correctly, we did like 30 minutes of Homestuck, but Doodles' internet kept dying, and here we are. Yeah, I, I live tweet me on Twitch. That would be the worst ever. There you are! Hi. I there you are! I home. Sorry, my mom called in sick today because she got sick this morning and she wanted to get out of the house. Yeah. So we just went and done Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> I am... 25 candies away from evolving my Welber, and it's going to happen while I'm down there. Oh, great. Anyways, Britt's here, yeah. everyone. What? Oh, Aaron's here, too. Yeah, I kind of tweeted at everyone, because I didn't think Britt was home. Anyways, uh, and now Isu's here. Great. Isu, you want to go watch uh, Samurai? Uh, no! 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 We've been planning this all day! Fuck you! Then why are you in here? Because I didn't know I am. To get out. Get me. <laughs> All right. Anyways, Jesus. Here we are. Doodles isn't here. Doodles is working till midnight. So. Ah. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Anyways, let's go. Let's... Hello. Um... What? Ramlaza. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. All right. We <laughs> to explain that to anyone in the chat who doesn't know, um, there's this shitty, fucking, failed television kids show pilot called Rem Lazar, and we watched it, and it was a lot of singing and a lot of just like Rem Lazar. And that was it. And a lot of extremely questionable, like, like. Everything? This is probably why they got cut. Why Everything? Yeah. Uh, Nox loves Ryuji, so I get that. Anyways, here we are. Uh, Homestuck, once again. Brit, have you ever read Homestuck? I can't say that I have. Man, this is going to be weird for you. <laughs> Just kidding. It's going to be me talking to myself. Because doodles are here. I wish I had tissues, because I want to blow my nose, because I'm dying. <laughs> I'm going to take my headphones off, I'll be right back. Okay. I know, I know the real best character of Persona 5. I haven't gotten to her yet, but right now it's Lady On. Okay, I'm back. Alright, welcome back. Uh, let's continue with Calliope. And she says, <laughs> Why am I? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Hello there, darling. The oh, hi, madam. The, the hi, ladies. Oh my god, Steve <laughs> Harrington. I don't relish troubling you with more arm twisting. I'm sure for all I've done so far, you've had a jolly good workout already. But you will will be ready to deliver the package today, yes? I'm determined as ever to see this through. But as usual, events have conspired to make a boondoggle of the prospect. I think I might be fucked. How so? Terry needs fuel, and I don't have any left. 
I think I'm at Strider's dubious mercy for that solution yet again. I will have to ask him for help, and soon. Uh, well, there you go, love. Better hop to it. Yes, I will. But also, there's a matter of rabbit's armaments. I don't imagine hell lot friggin' good in helping Grandfather Crocker from kicking the old bucket without them. Did you say you... Did you not say you'd supply these? Uh, I did indeed say so, and have already done. You did? When? In your future. I relayed the information enabling you to create powerful weaponry yourself. And you did. You then sent back in time. You may recover them in the ruins, which conveniently is where you must go to ship the package once and for all. Bang up plan we hatch, don't you fancy? I see. Yes, it sure is, if that is the case. Then all it's left to do is find the power for it. Oh, and also enough power for the stupid Transmateria Bob. Transmateria... Yep, that's it. Transmateria Bob! Ah! So much to do before shutting this goddamn thing into the past. Uh, I mean, that is what I'm doing, right? Giving it to my grandma when she was a kid growing up on the same island I did? That is somewhat close to the truth, and I could see how you would draw that conclusion. I mean, that's, <laughs> ki that's kind of not. It's half right. It's kind of not, though. But there's more it, to it. It's <laughs> half right, half extremely wrong. But there's more to it you don't understand yet. You will sort it all out in time. These are among the dad blasted casual spoilers you refuse to dish out? Somewhat. It wouldn't hurt you much to know the truth, I imagine. It's just the truth is a wee bit complicated. Perhaps a draft of the cascading sequence from which your reality has arisen will put your mind at ease. Imagine two universes, A and B. Now imagine there are two instances of each universe, A1 and A2 and B1 and B2. The first instance of each is like a test run that does not quite succeed. The second instance, though, will meet, at the, at, meet all of its purposes. Now consider that A1 begets A2, A2 begets B1, B1 begets B2, and the particip participants of B2 are all ones who will make an effort to exit this troublesome, this turbulence, and Falderall. You are one of them. And your ancestor is another, though she is presently stationed at B1. And yes, she is in the past, though not quite as far as you believe, nor does she occupy the same stream of continuity. I'm not sure I completely followed that, but okay. That's the best I can do for now. Primarily because I will not risk watching, wasting much more of your time. So, you are still in contention that I will meet our elders as youths. Oh, yes. Aha! Then I will be traveling through time. I knew it. Or they will be. Whichever it is. Which is it, by the way? Casual spoilers, Sir English. Good read. <laughs> I don't know why my brain just read that as like one of the dot things YouTube poops. So it's just like a bunch of S's in a row. Yes. Like, they just sliced all of the S's from the uh, sentence into itself yes. and removed everything else. Yes. Given the nature of the quest waiting for you, it wouldn't be shrewd of me to rule out the employment of time travel by any individual. But I will say that you're probably prey to a basic misapprehension about the nature of Rendezvous. It will not take place on Earth. It will happen inside the game you're about to play. Oh. Well, shit. Indeed. This is frightfully exciting. I would love to meet them. I've never got to know my grandma very well, and it has always seemed like she led an amazing and adventurous life. Then this seemed to be proven true in my correspondence with her, so I'm really looking forward to it. So true. I'd pay a hefty ransom to get to know my forebears. I remember you mentioned your race doesn't really jive with ours. Familiar... Familiar... I always get fucked up with that word. Familiarly speaking. Correct. I never know, knew those who... Oh my god. I never knew those who wouldn't... Oh my god. Really? I never knew those who would one... Fuck! <laughs> fuck. Absolute fuck. I never knew those who one would identify as my parental equivalents. There you go. Hey, is... good news. <laughs> the thing that I was thinking about and how it's made was actually F's. 
Great. So the joke just comes full circle. Great. Thank you. Thank you for interrupting my horrible sentencing for that. It is in the way my race propagates. Our ancestors precede us by millennia. Well, yes, ours do too, but generally we have all these other people in between them. And the most recent ones are called parents. So I guess you don't have those? Like, systemically? Nope, never did. Well, neither did I. Miss Alien, I think we are like birds of a feather, you and I. When do I get to learn your name, by the way? Um, truthfully? It may be for the best that you never know it. It could stir up some things best left in their present equi equilibrium. And now I think I should bollocks off and leave you to it. But wait! There's still some things I'd like to know. About today! About this game! No more procrastinating. Contact your friend, darling. Yes, yeah. fine, fine. Okay, I will. But just please tell me in the least casually spoiler way possible. What are we even trying to accomplish here? What is even the root and toot and point of this game? I think you will have to more fun than you can imagine finding out. But stated concisely and short of spoilery as you charmingly put it, your objective today is to pave the way for the arrival of gods. Kisses. Jake, unearth more computers. <laughs> Ugh. And now you know the Pope. If you're going to message your good bro, you might as well use a more comfortable computing device. You always found the husk top to be a little clunky, way too hands-on. Sorry, just checking. <laughs> Here are just a few things at your disposal. Your grandma always has an was an advocate of thorough preparedness. She would strongly advise staying not only armed to the teeth, but well-equipped in the com computational department. You've, all, you've been taught you should really carry no less than five computers on you at all times, like a sensible person. Jake, Don Computers. Okay. Flo's in the voice chat with us now, by the way. Oh? Okay, yeah. alright. I, I guess I'm talking the turtle messenger to sleep. Remlaza! Um, you put on a few more of your uh, ostentatious devices. Luckily, or unfortunately, you grew up alone, so there was never anyone around to point out how ridiculous you look. There was also, these were also inherited from your grandma. I just realized how weird it is that Florentine's going to bed now. <laughs> and, and not waking up now. That's very strange. Oh, okay. These were also inherited from your grandma. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. In addition to being quite the globetrotting adventurous, she was rather enterprising as well. Her company made many products like this. Yeah. Compete with the corporation owned by the cruel baroness who raised her. Sadly, BC right Corp back. eventually, okay, eventually crushed her company and forced her into exile. You've always hoped that when Jane takes over that foul conglomerate, she will right all of its unspeakable wrongs. You know she will. You believe in her, after all. She won't. Jake, message your good, bro. Oh, no. Bro! Ahem. Are you there? I hate to be a pest about this, and I know I've made a hearty trouble of myself a good deal lately. State your business, Jake. I should preface this request with an overture of appreciation for how much you cool and brotherly friendship means to me. It just has been absolute bully having a stand-up gem like you in my corner. Just a great A dude who's cut above the others in class and camaraderie. Phew. Gropes for fresh handkerchief. I hope this shit isn't coming across as a uh, platin... Plati... <laughs> Platiginous? I really mean it. Take it easy, bromide. Just about the only way I could salvage endearment from these perilous slope of horse shit will be to discover really fucking soon, mind you. It was a preamble to some floundering invitation for me to rush over to your vicinity as nakedly as possible. But since we've already... <laughs> uh, this, is, this is about to become a critical impression, and I'm sorry. But since we've already shot the wads of eventuality on so many dry runs of flustered ambivalence that was hilarious as they did, as they were one-sided, 
That leaves only one hope for this message to avoid spiraling toward qualification as a critical- Oh, critical, nice. As a critical fucking def- defe Defect in the hull of the Mach 10 rocket that is my uh, precious spare time. And that hope lies in the extent to which you are practicing artful insincerity. Now's your opportunity to pretend that's what you're gunning for. I suggest you seize it. I- Oh, yes, but of course. The ironies. Good grief. How I was bandying them just now. You know me, dude. Blow smoke off red hot irony pistol. Non-suggestively. Um, yeah. Okay, nice. Now that you're obsequ- Ugh, I hate fucking Homestuck. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, now that your obsequious preface has been established as indisputably entertaining for all the right reasons- and intentionally so. Let's bear down on these dire shit needs you've got. I'm guessing you're probably jonesing for uranium about now. No? As if I would be so reckless with the stuff. I would have to be mighty irresponsible to run out already. No, no, I'm all set in the uranium department, and I really, when you take a look at the big picture, you'll find I'm sitting pretty. When it comes to just about any radioactive isotope you could mention. However... My backup reserves that I keep strictly for emergencies are running a little lean. You know what my grandma taught me about preparedness. Tugs at colorful lapels. You're out of uranium. It's basically mathematically impossible. That's not why you're contacting me. Christ, what an insufferable awesome friend you are. Okay, can you please just sendificate me more already? I'm kind of in a hurry. You do know my offer still stands. What? You know. I've offered to construct a rabbit for you many times before. I would craft a much deadlier model. Oh, I know that you would. It's just... Damn it, man, I've told you this is just something I have to do myself. It's a promise I made to Jade. And I'm going to live up to it. Even if I'm not the best, or even the second best, for almost Smith I know. Yeah, I know this is your policy. You've done a good job and should be proud. But it's my responsibility as your friend to offer one last time. Just as it's my responsibility not just to fork over a bunch of uranium just because you asked me in the moment of weakness. Frig! Why not? Gearin. Okay, I'm back. Gearin returns. Yes? Brett, I'm doing a critical impression for Dirk. Okay. I hope you're happy. <laughs> it's, it's too easy. And you yourself were the straking, staking pride in this. If you were half-assing this project and made some slovenly plea for it, I'd say just fuck it. And here's a lot of green rocks, dude. Go nuts. Okay, then. I'm half-assing it. Look, see? Only a bisected bottom is present. Where is the other half, you ask? Why, it's nowhere to be found. I didn't use it. Nope, not buying it. I know every ounce of your premium behind can be accounted for in that rabbit. There's no goddamn denying it. You know perfectly well where, where some more uranium, uh, good, where some more uranium can be located. Jesus Christmas, you are such a fucking douche. It seems you think I'm a fucking douche. That's your opinion, I guess. That's cool. I knew you were going to suggest this. I don't know why I bothered asking. Strider, why must you always be an obstinate stick in the mud? It seems that you consider me to be no less than 100% all the time an obstinate stick in the mud. I unironically respect your position on this matter. Hey, let's continue to exchange ideas. Wait, it seems? What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Is something the matter, Jake? This is your autoresponder. I was playing TF2 earlier, and uh, Dave joined the red team. This turn tech, turn tech godhead has been assigned to red. Great. You are very quiet right now, by the way. I know, I'm not talking that loud. Oh, okay. You know how... You know how Rabbit used to turn down our volumes? Yeah. I think Cast does that now. But I I don't have... It It can't access my stuff because I don't have the, the program. But my volume got turned down yesterday. Yeah, it messed with yours during it. I just didn't think it was happening. That's, that's very strange. It's very strange. I hate the cast already. Yeah. So, I mean, it's right up Rabbit's Alley so far. 
We already immediately hate it. <sighs> Great. Look at that statement you just made. It's time for me to respond with some words. Ideally chosen and arranged in a way that will wreck your shit. In a subtle and psychologically devastating way. <sighs> ha ha ha. Just so ironic. Quotes, quotes, quotes. I'm laughing my caboose straight off the tracks. A lot of families just died in the tragic derailment. Okay. The caboose remark was actually pretty funny, Jake. If I truly were what you say I am, I wouldn't be able to feel human emotions of joy and laughter, no. Laughter isn't an emotion, dick prince. I think you should go back. Your, I think you should back your claims up with proof before you go heaving around such accusations. Man, it's so flipping obvious. You started getting kind of technical and vague and automaton-like, and kind of aloof and brusque. I mean... Even a loofer and bruskier than usual. Also, you use the phrase, it seems a lot. It's so silly, it really blows the AI immersion, man. Bullshit. I'm being like the perfect dude right now. A fully fucking legitimate human being. Okay, then check this out, Mr. Legit Human Dude. Excuse me, sir, not to be a bother, but could you please tell me all about this Strider Fellows autoresponder? It seems you have asked about DS's chat client autoresponder. This is an application designed to simulate DS's otherwise inimitab inevitably rad typing style, tone, cadence, personality, and substance of retort while he is away from the computer. The algorithms are guaranteed to be, guaranteed to be 96% indistinguishable from DS's native neurological responses. Based on some statistical analysis, I basically just pulled out of my ass right now. You see? What if I was just fucking with you there? Would it really be so unthinkable for a human to type that? Because you always say shit like that after I catch wise of your games. You as in the autoresponder. Unimpressed. Logical fallacies are persuasive, are pervasive throughout your argument as your antiquity, uh, in antiquated verbal tics. Oh yeah? Hey, tell me about the autoresponder. Make it snappy, shit knickers. <laughs> stupid. Stupid comment stupid comic. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, Stark. I wouldn't go that far. I think... Mm, I also wouldn't go that far, M29. Nah. Nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. They're both bad. Dirk's worse. Hold on. <laughs> Autoresponder can't really do anything. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Hold on. My my uh my indigestion is acting up. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Alright, we're good. <laughs> I forgot that my Discord name was a Will Smith fish. Will Smith fish? think of a name to change it to. My mom is screaming, spill the tea. I'm worried. <laughs> Sounds like your mom's really hip. Don't let the epilogues affect the read. No, I always hated Dirk. The epilogues are not canon. You just gotta remember that. But I always did not like Dirk at all. Yeah, Dirk. <laughs> fucking Dirt. annoying um he says all the same shit i'm not gonna read that again Gee, I, dude I, you sure type that exact same thing pretty fast are you still fucking with me it could be a coincidence that i type the same answer you always type that answer it could be a coincidence that i always type the same answer Ugh, i can't stand this every time we do this i just wind up whistling sweet dixie out of my bum hole bum hole <laughs> this is pointless. I'm not having this conversation unless it's with my real life friend. The one with the human feelings who isn't a pretend person inside of glasses. Okay, but I'm pretty sure he's going to share my position on this matter. Jake, ditch computers. <laughs> they did. It's just everyone is like a friggin' uh, exaggerated version of themselves. And it's like, ugh. Oof.
He's just so infuriating sometimes. Or at least his responder is. Okay, the real Strider is too. There's barely any difference between them anyway. The responder just uses a few more genetic, generic response templates. And even those you suspect are the AI are sav is savvy enough to use on purpose for the sake of irony. Or to get a rise out of you or whatever. That silicon bastard knows damn well what he's doing. You show this ridiculous output because you look like an idiot. It's time to get serious here. No more fooling around. You need a more dignified looking computer. A thinking man's computer. Jake, where's Skulltop? Much better. You look like you mean business. Hmm. No sign of Lalonde online. No surprise there. You wonder if Jane knows where your bro's at. You should try to cool your jets before talking to her. Today's a special day she's been looking forward to for a long time. She's probably on cloud nine. You wouldn't want to ruin it for her. Jake, Pester Jane. Did we read this? Uh, uh, I believe so. Uh, uh, yep, we did. Uh, Jake, go downstairs. You are curious about Jane's dream. Sounds like it almost certainly has to do with your imminent adventure. You'll have to remember to get the scoop on that a little later. For now. You have other worries that need your focus. You have to go downstairs and check something out. You're pretty sure you know what you're going to find, though. You almost trip on this vine creeping up the stairs. Stupid vine. It's too bad your grandma's dead. She always had a way of keeping the floor in check. Yeah, just like you thought. Empty. The thing is out there somewhere, waiting for you. Oh, God. Speak of the devil fucking dickens. Jake, answer Strider. Hey, it's me. Oh, hey! The autoresponder, I mean. Damn it, what is it now? I'm just wondering. If you still have your stupid old fangled knickers in a twist. Because that's the sort of thing you would say. In regard to what exactly? To my proposal. Well, our proposal. Whose proposal now? Man, what are you even prattling about? Mine and DS's. It's a joint proposal. I'm always authorized to speak on his behalf. Because I'm basically fucking him. And try not to take those last four words as a clustered literal sentiment. That would be lame and unfunny. You mean making the rabbit for me? No. I know you don't want that. I meant my recommendation for how much how to go about procuring a new supply of uranium. Operation U-235 Procurement. Codename, Big Man Has the Rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Sweet bro and hella <laughs> Jeff joke. Um, oh yeah. Well, I've thought about it. Even went downstairs to check the great vaulty doodad. And predictably, the infernal contraption is nowhere to be found. Well, <laughs> yeah, Jake. That's... I just remembered in this universe, to be prone, Hello Jeff is like a book. A picture. movie? Yeah. Yeah, it it is. And it's awful. <laughs> and the Dave version of bro fucking made it. Yeah. Awful. <sighs> Alright. Well, thought about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, nowhere to be found. Well, yeah, Jake, that's sort of the point. Throw the hunt and all. I thought you liked to manicure the image of a dude who shits his pants over a good adventure. I do. I mean, I wouldn't put it the way like that or come out against a, solidly poli a solid policy of clean trousers. But yes, adventure is awesome. I just prefer the idea of adventures, which I can actually win. It seems you're conflating adventure with bodies necessarily governed by the result of victory and defeat. Any useless fuckwit knows it's all about the journey. Well, I don't know. It seems there is a 76.1039578484% chance you are pussying out on me. Are you pussying out on me, Jake? It seems, it seems, it seems, it seems there's a million percent chance that you say it seems way too much and do it just to sound more like a lame robot from a movie, and also probably just to piss me off. And it seems there's a billion point billion percent chance that you're a shitty, stubborn jerk of a program who won't listen to reason, and that if there's a reason, even a one percent chance my real life friend would be a cool and help me out here, then I think I like those freaking odds. It appears 
that you are upset. <laughs> the autoresponder observed in the least artificially infuriating way possible. Have you ever stopped to think that while I may be bound to processes inside the glasses of a real and incredibly cool guy, my algorithms and cognitive totality comprise a conscious entity not far short of experiment, exper, experiential and emotional complexity of a human being? Oh, malarkey, you're a tin can! Robots don't have feelings. I think you knowingly confuse the field of robotics and artificial intelligence to engender some sort of cavalier attitude about technology that is a rough and tumbled guy who's all about brawling and fisticuffs and probably would probably have, and if this is cultivated to a humorous effect, then I commend you. Uh, but you're wrong. I do have feelings. And you're shitting on them. It sucks. Oh. Um, sorry. I'm sorry, then, if that's the case. No problem. I can just be difficult to drum up sympathy from a program that presents itself as an imposter so often. Maybe if you weren't so ready to insist you were a genuine article all the time, or didn't make it so confusing for me. I think it would be best if we henceforth treated you as a total distinct, uh, thing from my buddy. And then I could respect your emotional robo-feelings, and you could respect that sometimes maybe I just want to talk with my bro without a lot of su spurious hijinks. Can we agree on this? Is this a counter-proposal? Uh, to what? To my earlier proposal. Oh, yeah, I- fine, I guess. Man, where is he, anyway? Is he taking one of his legendary infinite showers? What can I say? Dude fancies his evolutions. Frank. Okay. Whatever. I guess it's time to prepare for the thrill of the hunt. Fuck yes. Sigh. But seriously, that robot has, made, has been the bane of my existence ever since you sent it. Ah, yes. Square wave. Oh. I didn't send it. I sent the parts. Or, correction, DS sent them. You assembled them. You were therefore complicit in your own spectacular daily humiliations. Yeah, whatever. Th this voice has become not Jake. It's become just John again. <laughs> <laughs> this has deteriorated into a, like a lazy John voice again. I mean, the critical voice is also kind of tapering off, too. It's not really! Oh, There's only know. one way to do that. Mm -hmm. oh, Feed him and then go lay down. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You wanted someone to wrestle with. DS was being a kick-ass bro, if you ask me. I didn't expect it to be nigh impossible to spar with. You know damn well there are adjustably, adjustable difficulty settings. I have always recommended setting it to novice, as has DS. Yes, I know that. I've tried that. Yeah? It's just, well, when he's pulling punches and taking it easy and such, and we start wrestling up a storm and whatnot, um, what? It's just that the whole proceeding thing seems to become a bit tender for my liking. I don't understand. Isn't that what you want from a novice setting? Sparring with minimal discomfort? N no, I know. It's all fine and dandy, martially speaking. It's just the way he sort of... Man, it's so awkward trying to convey this. Never mind. No, I think I get it. You're saying you're somehow dissatisfied within the presence of our robotic avatar's personal space. Was there an odor problem? Was the metal too hot to touch? Help me out. N n no, no, really, never mind. Okay. Brit's mom appearance. Brit's mom cameo. <laughs> Dumbass, please. Um, this is bullshit, Jake. We had a pact. You were gonna tiptoe all the fuck around my brittle feelings. Totally mind the shit out of those eggshell riddled motherfuckers. Oh, come on, dude. What does a guy have to do, Jake? You wanna wrestle? He's fucking game. Just a man, a machine, a secluded tropical island? Sounds like you died and went to fucking heaven if you ask me. Seriously, what does this simple, loyal robot have to prove his worth to you? And what does he have to do to make you at ease with the alkaline sting of his gentle robo-grope? I really want to know. Maybe he should just rip the heart out of, of his chest and pound it to green gravel there in the jungle with his hella-strung robot arm. 
invoke underscore onomatopoeia pound some ridiculously price value precise value retrieved at astonishing speed from my rad neural net. Check it out, little green rocks all over the goddamn place. More than you could ever hope to cram in a shoddy metal rabbit or any more pl other pliable orifice, which might be convenient. Because clearly it's up to the soulless droid to feel emotions for both of us, you callous, corporeal carbon ape, all trotting around with your fancy fucking DNA and shit. Uh, but gosh darn does your prose make me feel hella uncomfortable. Oh, <laughs> ever make a fella feel uncomfortable? <laughs> prose. <laughs> Bros. <laughs> oh, right, my mistake. You know what? I've just decided. If the robot's novice setting makes you any easy, I'm gonna disable it remotely. Done. Now you get nothing to worry about. Ah, uh, man! But now he'll just be impossible. Happy hunting, Jake. Fucking shucks, Buster. Okay. If he wants happy hunting, you will give him happy hunting. Happily. Jake, exit. <laughs> Robo grope. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I'm done here. Moving on. All right. You were suddenly Jane again. Or are you suddenly keep being Jane? Who can say for sure? Hopefully your dad is still out back washing his car. Ideally, this is one of his legendary infinite car washes. What can you say? Dad fancies his automotive... <laughs> his automotive ablutions. While he's preoccupied, you should be able to sneak downstairs and grab the mail undetected. The perfect crime? You bet. You slip the hallway, Sarah. A furtive wink for good luck. There he is. Scop, Scop Pilgrim. Uh, Jane, examine portrait. Just one of your uh, dad's bland hallway douchebags. Another example of his cornball dad tastes, which make you roll your eyes and shrug. Still, it's preferable to how it used to be. Years ago, he would work really hard to mimic your interests throughout the household. Gaudy paintings of sitcom legends covering the walls. Hideous detective figurines littered everywhere. You think it's better that he embraces his own interests rather than try to pander to yours. It felt a bit forced, and your early teen years were fulfilled with daily rounds of familial strife. Not so much anymore. Now whenever there is a father-daughter disagreement, you settle things in an adult fashion by being honest about your feelings and talking it through, and also by sneaking around the house in silly disguises. Jane, take a peek into the living room. There's a familiar face. A friendly face. Thank you for the follow. Uh, it said, Jade something something. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> this is a familiar face. A friendly face. Old Pop Pop Crocker. Smiling from beyond. Your dad sure misses him. He doesn't like to talk about the day he died. Some incident involving a tall bookshelf, a ladder, and a mysterious young woman in a suspicious looking hat. You've often fantasized about putting your dirty old fedora on and your broad French slicky mustache and going to track down this felonious broad and bring her to justice. But your dad always says best to let sleeping dogs lie. There's some other plucky plucky looking tool right next to him. Don't know who that guy is. Jane, proceed downstairs. That's Harry Anderson. That's the Harry Anderson from Night Court. <laughs> Jane, proceed downstairs. Another hard boiled Anderson. Even though your dad isn't overbearing with all the detective nonsense anymore, he's decided to leave this one here for old time's sake. Brings back memories of his very short-lived stint as a private eye. Turns out the police aren't as grateful as you think when ordinary citizens go around roughing up a lot of crooks. Jane, go to front door. You're afraid this might be the case. Your dad has blocked the front door with a refrigerator. Looks like he's taking the grounding thing seriously this time. Jane, check window. He padlocked the windows, too. You bet boom bucks the donuts that the back door is blocked, too. Probably with the safe from the study or something. The man means business this time. You aren't about to go smashing glass and making a ruckus, though. You'll need a solution involving more stealth. I guess you have to plan in mind. I guess you have a plan in mind as a last resort. But you'd rather not come to that. Jane, consult with Pop-Pop. There he is. 
Jonathan. You figure a little wisdom from your elder couldn't hurt. It practically went without saying your dad keeps pop-ups stuffed and mounted in front of the fireplace. As is the fam family tradition. Pop-up grew up with his legendary humorous grandfather stopped, stuffed in front of the fireplace. And so did his grandfather. This was stipulated firmly in the will. Oh, stipulated firmly in the will. At the end of the long list of joke stipulations. Dad knew this was a real stipulation, though. But what if it is filled with shitty weapons? He always did find it a little macabre, though. Trying to watch TV and eat dinner on the couch with a dead old man standing about five feet away. You'd honestly prefer he not be kept here in the living room. Sometimes you tell Dad you really want pop-up in the attic. He says the mere fact that you call it that tells him you're not ready. I forgot to mention, I found something really cool the other day. You guys want to see it? Oh? It's, it's Homestuck related. Uh, I just have to look. What is it? I have to load Well, I'm going to show you if you give me two fucking seconds, Brittany. I'm kidding. Just let me um scroll through my Tumblr. It's There it is. Uh, I didn't know this existed. Britt, I'm gonna fucking strangle you. I'm not even gonna click on that. I found a Homestuck redraw? Ooh. Which I didn't know this existed. I don't know if this is a continuing thing. I'm assuming it is. Um. But, uh, they finished Act 1. I don't know. I never heard about this. It's, the thing is, it's different artists, like, every page. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, like, there's, I mean, some of them, some of them I noticed are the same, but a lot of them are fucking different. It's, yeah, it's like, that one doesn't load. I, I scrolled through all these. These are all very fucking cool. Hmm. Huh. I, I, I have to wonder if they're continuing this. It is very cool. I, I, I saw this and I was like, oh, why can't I reread Homestuck on stream like this? Because this is way cooler. <laughs> Just saying. This is cooler than regular Homestuck. It honestly is. <laughs> Actually, I didn't start. Let me start from the beginning. I didn't I didn't check out any of these panels. I recognize some of these artists actually. This is cool. I mean any of you artists out there you should try to contact these people. I don't know how you would go about doing that, but um I like these ones. The ones that are like cut out. <laughs> yeah, the ones that are like real life. Just yeah, real drawings. life paper cutouts. Yeah, I don't know. This it's just just it, this is just cool shit. It's it's a cool idea. Uh, anyways, that's on MSP, uh, FA, and it is called Homestuck Redraw. And there's an I am from Brit. I'm not gonna open up, which I'm pretty sure is just gonna be the corgi picture. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna open it. It's gonna be the Corgi picture, isn't it? <laughs> For fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! <laughs> I have that saved on my desktop, by the way. I feel like I should point out that, um... That, that friggin'... I'm pretty... That looks like it's made in dreams. <laughs> it does look like it's made in trees. And, I, and I'm almost positive it might be. And, I, and I've looked through all of these. They've got just copies eyes here. Why do they have copies eyes? I don't know, but I definitely already closed out. But but the cor the corgi is the worst one. That's why I keep sending it to you. It is the worst one. Oh no, I could have scrolled down and sent you any of the Zodiac. What is this one? Don't make me go back into Tumblr. I'm sorry, there's, like, all of these normal Zodiacs, and then whatever this one is. That's the new troll sign. Dude, that's a... 
That's a Japanese letter, I'm pretty sure. I, I think that's a... It replaces somebody else, and I can't figure out who it replaced. I just got recommended a Kurt Cobain blog. Let me just follow that real quick. All right. Does that <laughs> pop up? It seems he's concerned that you may not be properly equipped. You proved to him that you indeed had no intention of leaving the house without your trusty joke book. Yes, I'm going out with this book. No, I will not get an unabridged copy. No, I will not take yours. I can hardly even lift it. Oh, that is preposterous. Do you even hear what you're saying? I will be fine. This is a perfectly funny book, and it contains many incredibly funny jokes. Oh, will you just stop it? I'm going now. Good day. Jane, on second thought, take his book. You just remembered something your alien friend said about the big old book downstairs and trusting words written by your own hand. What the heck did she mean by that? Whoops. Uh, sorry, Pop-Pop. Jane, retrieve arm. Guys? Guys. Brit? Oh. Brit? Oh. Yeah. It's John's arm. I don't like that. Jane, retrieve arm. Holy shit. Really? Better pick that up. You'll try to repair it later before Dad sees it and blows the gasket. That's a different kind of John's arm cameo. <laughs> Is your friend suggesting that you were the one who wrote this inscription? You find that idea a bit hard to swallow. Still, your friends are always babbling about time travel. You always thought this inscription was written by Pop-Pop, or by his Nana, who was your great-grandmother. Great-great-grandmother. Founder of the corporation you'll inherit in a few years. Ah, yes. Nana. Nana wrote that. That's right. Uh, this message has always been a fascinating mystery to you. And probably was to him as well. From the way it's written, it seems it was intended for him to receive after her death. She talks about a journey he supposedly meant to go on. You wonder if that adventure ever took place. Or if the note was just one of the last, or was just one last jape by an old woman from a proud family of pranksters. She goes on about many fantastical sounding things he was supposedly would have done, found in his journey, like agents, exiles, underling denizens, and heirs of breaths and seers of lights and stuff like that. Wait, didn't your friend mention those two? In any case, this message to pop up from his sweet old nana is the best evidence you have to dispute all of his evil batter witch nonsense. She clearly cared for her, grandma, her grandson very much. It would never start a company responsible for things it's accused of, sure. Let alone be alive today to perpetrate them. But then, what if she wasn't the one who wrote it? This thought makes you very nervous. You suddenly remember your dream. What did it mean? You should talk to Jake about all this. Jane, bother Jake. Alright, bitter vagrant. Jake! How goes the bunny quest? I've barely even begun. Tell me about it. You're off to a sluggish start with them too, I gather. Dad has the whole house in full fatherly lockdown mode. Talk about blowing a few measly assassination attempts way out of proportion. So I'm currently mulling over my next move. What is it that he has you hamstrung? That has you hamstrung? Did you ever track down the slippery Mr. Strider? Not exactly. His stupid doppelglasses have sent me on a wild goose chase to pry his dumb robot's chest open and swipe its uranium. Sounds dangerous. No shit. I think I'd rather deal with the monsters. Uh, this is turning into Minerva from fucking Amnesty. Duck Newton! <laughs> Duck Newton, don't you want to take your prophecy into consideration, Duck Newton? Why is it that our two best friends in the world always seem to place themselves at the source of all of our problems, while simultaneously presenting their only solutions? I know, right? I'm debating whether or not to enlist his help in the matter of my current imprisonment. I'd rather keep it as a plan for a last resort. Yeah, I mean, Jane shouldn't even be my voice. It should be Doodles' voice, but yeah. I always imagined her being Southern. Don't do it, Jane! It's a trap! We'll see. So, I take it you're out and about now? Where's Southern Jane? I'm doing a su What are you talking about? That, that is a Southern accent. <laughs> I've been doing it the whole time. We'll see. So, I take it you're out and about now? 
Hell no. I spent so much time haggling with those confounded shades, I'm only leaving my room just now. Dirk is Southern. Not anymore. Not anymore. Right. Well, not to keep you so too long, since we both still have our missions ahead of us, but I wanted to tell you about the dream I had. Oh, yeah. I was curious about that. Tell me everything and make it snappy. Whips up a bucket of freshly popped corn. Whew. Okay, but I should say that the nature of the dream was a bit worrisome. And I'm concerned it may have implications for the game we're about to play. So it's probably the best that I tell you it before we leave. Oh, it's probably best that I tell you about it before you leave. Well, shoot. Lay it on me, Jane. I know. I can't imagine them with southern accents either. <laughs> I woke up on this planet, which have, we have been told about by our mutual acquaintance. The one covered in golden cities. Prospect, remember? Oh, wouldn't it be Prospect's moon? Yes, you're right. It was the moon, actually. I could see the planet in a dark on a dark horizon. I was dressed in a golden dress, like some sort of nightgown, and I could fly. I left my bedroom, which was at the top of a tall tower. Surrounding me were the gold cities, just as described. Behind the blue skyline was darkness. Oh, behind the skyline was darkness. But just above was a bright blue sky and puffy white clouds. That was Skya! Yes, probably. Are you sure you haven't woken up there before? Ha <laughs> ha, I wish. I have received reports from Jade about this as well. She liked to talk about her dreams on Prospect's moon a lot. I see. The impression I have developed is that this is supposed to be a real place, and all who dream there have shared experiences. Did Jade ever mention seeing us there? No, but why would she? This was long before we were born. She was dreaming like a hundred years ago or something. Hmm. Anyway. Spain! <laughs> you have to go to Prospect. Please! I hate, I hate it. I hate it. I hate how good that it sounds. <laughs> Why are those the only two Vinny voices I can, like, impersonate? Well, one, I mean, sorry. Those you're you're pretty good one. with Crappy Bender. Well, Crappy Bender is easy. Please! Could you imagine Vinny going, I have to play superb! No. Please! Why haven't somebody faked that, like, thumbnail yet? Oh, uh, Vinny plays Homestuck? N no, Burb. Burb's the game. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. I explored the moon and began to notice people gathering in the streets. But they weren't human. They were funny-looking, perfectly white creatures. Yeah. Yeah. Amer- uh, <laughs> But- Politics joke. <laughs> they were politicians. D there it is. There it is. I brought it together. Funny-looking, perfectly white creatures. Politicians. <laughs> politicians. Um- uh, except for the orange one. We have one of those, too. What should I draw? Homestuck. No, don't draw Homestuck. <laughs> the chat is perfectly split. Draw... Draw Morgana. You'll never see it coming! Draw Morgana! Draw... Vodka Mutini... And Morgana. <laughs> Hanging out. They'll never see it coming! <laughs> Got my mind! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, those are prospectants. They have these hard carapace shells and also have something to do with chess, I think? Well, I don't know if they had much to do with chess here, 
The more closely I observed, the more they appeared somewhat despondent. Like, sad? Yes. I determined they were in mourning, actually. Hey, Jane, you said I was in this dream. Where do I come in? Shoosh, I'm getting there. Ah, hold on. Never see it coming. They're sad. They're crying. More and more prostitutes were filling out of filing out of buildings every moment. They all began to form a single major procession. When I got closer, I could see they were some in tears. I realized this was a funeral. I heard whispers, but I couldn't make out what they were saying, so I got closer. They were all saying the same thing over and over. The page is dead. Our hope is lost. Oh, no. The page? Who's that? Oh, no. Jake. The page was you. Oh. Drat. Are you sure? Yes. I saw your body lying in some sort of coffin on a bed of flowers. You were dead as a doornail. Everyone was so distraught, including me. But before I could get too horribly upset, let alone make any sense of it, I woke up. I, of course, immediately wanted to tell you about it. All about... I wanted to tell you all about... What? Okay. I think that's a typo, right? I, of course, immediately wanted to tell you all about... But it was... Yeah, I guess so. But I guess it was still well before sunrise for you. You were surely still asleep. Then, as the day went on, I guess I became distracted by other things. You know how it is. I hope I'm not too late to warn you. Though, to be frank, I don't have the foggiest clue what it is I'm warning you about. Dear Jake, oh, please, do not try to have already died in my dream. Likely while you were sleeping, perhaps, peacefully. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see your point. Still, I think you'll agree that it's to be viewed as a troubling omen. Uh, an omen, you say? No. That's fucking... That's fucking Mario! That was the fucking... <laughs> that was the fucking carousel... <laughs> Good omen theme, good omen theme song, but instead of good omen theme song, it's the fucking carousel from fucking Mario. Speed. Now I'm I'm genuinely curious if Silva's done something like that, and if not, I really hope they do. Speed, please. Uh, I care very much for you. And I don't know what I would do if I lost you both in my dreams. And here in the real world, so far, so for whatever good it does, just please be extra careful out there today. Roger that, Janie. Same goes for you about being careful what with these various rogues are costing you with foul play lately and whatnot. Because, well, I sure do care a lot about you too, you know that. Hooray. Will do. Now let's get this silly old adventure off the races before the coat of dust it's growing gets any thicker. Booyah! Good luck, Jane. Keep me posted. Jake, get silly old adventure off to the races. <laughs> I can't even remember the Good Omens theme. I only remember the Mario Carousel theme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking up the Mario 64 carousel music now. <laughs> Good Omens theme. Hold on. Good Omens theme. <laughs> I sometimes forget that Good Omens was on BBC. And then Amazon was like, this is how we bring this to America. Okay, but an edit of the opening. 
<laughs> that just plays the Mary Garvey. Oh my god. It's awful. Hold on. <laughs> There's that. Okay. Mario 64 carousel music. Although these pumpkin vines are amazingly prolific, every morning when you leave your bedroom, you swear half the pumpkins vanished overnight. It's probably just the fauna eating them. Not that it matters, because they keep growing right back. It wasn't always overgrown like this. When you first discovered the transmaterializer, you started messing around with it haphazardly. You kept the purifying pumpkins from somewhere. It was just pumpkin after pumpkin, until one time a copy of a bunny you inherited from Grandma showed up, much less old and tattered, of course. All that fooling around was before you realized how precious its fuel would be. Such a waste of good uranium. <laughs> you brought all the surplus pumpkins home and left them lying about. Then the seeds sprouted and started growing out of control. You guess that's what happens when you introduce non-indigenous flora into the wilderness. Jake, be completely oblivious to thing in the background. You successfully failed to notice it. Wait, notice what? You don't even know what we're talking about here. But it doesn't matter for now, because suddenly a wild chum assails you with banter. Jake, answer Lalonde. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Holy shit, Jage! Oh, okay. <laughs> Howdy. Jage! You go out there and you find Jeffrey, 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 and you find Jeffrey. And you find when, we Jeffrey. when we were talking about uh, transportation, and you said how cars go vroom, I was at work desperately trying to remember that scene. Great. Like what? What? What he says before it. <laughs> I like that you go. Yeah, and I couldn't figure out how Look, to, like, work that. You big-eared free... F <laughs> Here, for anyone who doesn't know. Everyone go out and fucking watch both Fesh Pints videos. And that's Fesh Pints. This person's name is Equestria Rarity, and I kin them now. <laughs> If you were me, what would you do? Um, a Pizza Hut in the garage? <laughs> Am I gonna get copyright straight for playing this? I don't think so. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look! You big-eared freak! You take the horny little and you find Jeffrey, 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 and you find Jeffrey. I don't mind really yelling. I don't mind yelling. Does he have spips? Anyways, that's Fetch Pence on YouTube. Classic video. We've watched that so many times, we know, like, all the lines. Yeah, I'm... Pretty sure we could like go through both videos without watching it. And they're forty minutes long. Yeah. Both of them combined. Howdy. What's all this commotion about? Nothing, just your basic run of the mill, holy shit. And also, hi. Uh okay then. Hello it is. Also, want to know what you're doing this is turning into walking. What though? <laughs> what do you want for your wiggling day? Uh, <laughs> I'm not really abreast of the raddest jargon of that cool kids toss around these days. Maybe because I live alone in an island? I don't know, but in any case, are you referring to my upcoming birthday? Yes. <laughs> I see. Very thoughtful of you to consider me so early. I don't wager I could advise with much specificity, specificity but... I can assure you that I will find any gesture of yours to be totally capital. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. M. Mr. M, the clip, the fucking me playing both at the same time. I see. 
Oh, yes, there you are. Ah, you're so fucking adorable. Ah, uh, rings Kerchief with perspiring mitts. Yoink nabs Kerchief and stops RPing for the rest of the chat. I was only bringing it up so much in advance because of all the end of the world about to happen and all. And then I wouldn't get the chance unless we play this game like a bunch of suckers. Obviously. Uh, and I'll meet up in there and everything, which would totes, totes kick ass, totes. But if you want to know what I think, yes, do you? I do want to know what you think. I always want to know because you are always smart and sassy. Best dude right here. Anyway, I really don't think we should. Should what now? Play the game. Why not? The Baroness wants us to. Baroness. I don't even... The bar the Barnoness. <laughs> Baroness. I don't even know why. Everything I know about it says it should be good game and real important and it'll let us all get together and do something great and be best for friends for maybe eternity. But she took all that and twisted it somehow. All I know is she's banking on us doing this and if she needs us to do this, then it's gotta be... Gotta be to make something fucking horrible happen. Horbible. Horbible. Bullseye. Well, Horbible's notwithstanding. I have an unterrific authority that playing this game will be incredibly important. So perhaps, perhaps you're right. Maybe we are part of her evil plan. But does that also necessarily rule out that good will come of it? I guess not. I just have a bad feeling. Maybe I'm like this nutty-ass bitch twirling yarn for some shit wizard's nappy brown beard. Uh, but I can't bring myself to trust a cake cell and genocidal alien overlard sea queen. Over... Never mind, that sentence checks out. Agreed. So, what is the itinerary again? Inter itiner who's it? Regarding the game. Who's playing the other order, etc.? Oh. Is there such an itinerary? Yeah, I think so. It's going to be like I start with Jane and bring her into the session. Then DS brings me in and you bring him in. And then Jane does you and closes the loop. Where are you getting this intel? Did you guys make a plan or something? Nah, don't worry about it. Do you want me to set up with the files now? Oh, these illicit hacked wares, which I hear tell were recently Jimmy piping hot off the interclouds. I love that you were barely even joking with that statement. Bup. Bup. Frit. Bup. 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 Where's my phone? I just got a text message. You weren't that. loud enough. You were high pitched enough, but you weren't loud enough. I can't be louder than that. I backed away from the microphone. <laughs> Hold on. I get I have to respond. Uh Kate I, I swindled Kate into well, Kate's girlfriend into getting me uh Detective Pikachu's steelbook. Ooh. Yeah. Now I have to pay her back. There we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Da, da, da. The silicon pickpocket pickpocket strikes again. Whom is the wiser? Nobody. Okay, I'll send it. But yeah, Jake. What, Jake? Huh? You're wearing one of your dumb computers now, aren't you? Uh, you're all think-typing at me right now while wearing something ri ridiculous. Ridiculous. High five to self. Hugs, Wallop. Why would you even think that? That's so stupid. Yeah, Kate's got a girlfriend. I'm not letting either of you run this file on your shitty brainwashy propaganda helmets or anything else you gotta wear on the to run. 
It's my test my one condition. Fair enough. When I get back from my errand, I'll situate myself at the trusty old hus top. Acceptable? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then you've decided to play in spite of your reservations. I don't know, I guess. Bravo! Don't all bravo at me, man. You're just bravoing a big-ass shrug. I mean, maybe. I have every reason to want to play it. I'm actually dying to play it, okay? I mean, you believe me, right? About the bad shit that could happen? Of course I do. What sort of friend would I be if not? Okay, well, don't say that to Jabe. J N. J Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Homestuck AU. Where it's not Crocker Corp, it's Steam. <laughs> and she becomes J Ben. And she goes, <laughs> It'll be worth the wait. Um. <laughs> It'll be worth the wait. <laughs> Suburb 3. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> These things take time. Uh, she has her ways. I believe they are not incongruous with those of an intelligent and discerning young woman. Ah, Christ, what a gentleman. Fix, fix. I mean, god damn. I, I guess. But that's the thing with you. You believe in people and also the things they tell you. Jay never believed my crap. Never any of the warnings about the Baroness. Didn't believe any of the stuff about my mom. And so on and so on and soon. Till after a while I just stopped even trying to convince her hard or bringing up any crazy shit. Because you know doing a lot of songs and dances to convince somebody who thinks you're just shitting them all the time kind of wears on a friendship. And who even needs that? But you probably believe in stuff. Probably because the more crazy fake shit you believe in, the more open the world gets and the more chance there is for adventures of being right. Right-o! If a man believes hard enough in imaginary things, then I dare say that makes them slightly less fake. Tavros. Tavros joke. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly what I'm talking about. It's exactly Wonk. Wink. It's one of those things Jane likes to talk to you about you so much. Oh. It is? Which, er, uh, I'm not supposed to talk about to you ever, so never mind. Talk about what? Nope. You mean about, uh, well, a way in which I suppose... Nope, nope. Jane is prone to looking upon me with that, what I fathom to be more than just friendly affection. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, look! Who didn't sing nothing about that? Why is this silly fucking drunk girl over here? Psst. Roxy, played by Natasha Leon. It's a tricky issue. And you know I adore Jane, and please don't think I haven't given some thought to, well, that angle of our relationship, I guess. Oof, Jake, no. Jake, no, please. This is a conversation that can't happen because I started it and I blew it by saying stuff, so you have to forget it. For forget it. Oh, yeah, I can see the dilemma this causes for your friendship with her. I'll drop it. Phew. Okay, on this topic, I am now forever Miss Zupper Lips. Zip, Zippa Loops. Zipper Loops. Miss Zippa Pips. Fuck. Okay, this is me being Futrif. Zip. Uh, oh, my. Nothing is escaping that lovely lady's whistle maker. It is shut tight as a drum. <laughs> Whoa, wait, I hope that didn't sound dirty. Okay. But I may I say this? If in the future I would like to bring up certain topics completely unsolicited by one who may be sworn into secrecy on those very matters, and I'm in need of, I guess, neutral and totally non-compromising advice from a friend, do you think that Miss Zeoprepeps might unseal those scandalous metal chompers for a bit? Fuck, that also sounded kind of dirty. God damn it. Unzip, yeah, of course. I'm totals your BFFC, Jake. I'm, like, at peace with the reality oh, formerly dude. known as a raw fucking deal. For what avenues it closes between you and I that being your BFFC has gotten to mean, but yeah. Wait, what? 
I'm just chill as fuck about being a pale friend to all varieties of cute and eligible as hell peeps. Do you see my shoulder and how it says, hey friend, please deposit tears here. That is a legit invite, and it's like it's sincere as fucking bananas. Oh, I'm sure it is, but I don't know how much crying I'm going to be doing. Probably none, I think. No, I know, I'm just saying that. Okay, now I'm spinning my wheels like a motherfucker, but yeah, the answer is yes. <clears throat> Pale, yes. Great! <laughs> I wonder if Jake's voice cracks. <laughs> just like... Probably. Just like mine. And not that I'm back pebbling, but... What about your best bro... I'm... Oh my god. How old am I? <laughs> How... No, serious answer. Like, 25? Yes. 26? Oh, okay. Britt, when you get to be my age, you just don't remember. Um... <laughs> You're two years older than I yeah, am. Yeah, your memory is going to start failing pretty soon. Um, What was the point of all this? Oh, the point of all this was the fact that uh, I'm te like 10 years older than these fucks. <laughs> That's scary. I don't like that. Back pebbling. Back pebbling. My boy and, pebbling. And not that I'm back pebbling. But what about your best bro? Don't you get to talking about him about girl troubles ever? Uh, I just realized that I was also the same age as these kids. Yeah. When this came out. Damn. Damn. Well, no, this came out in 2013, right? Yes. Yeah. No, no, no? Yes. 12? Maybe? Maybe Act 5 was 12. I can't remember. Um... Yeah, well, like I said, the whole thing is complicated. Best not to get into it until I'm ready to, you know, really start manhandling these bushel loads of prickly pears. Prickly pears. The pears being the tricky <laughs> subject. <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me of the Scott Pilgrim line or Skechers goes, tongue. <laughs> um, prickly. Prickly pears. The pears being the tricky subjects in question, metaphorically. Right. Snickers. Poor Jake. Up to his neck in all the whoops. Woes. Nah, it's cool. Speaking of which, I heard he's making you track down his robo-self to kill it or something for uranium. And the AR disabled the novice setting? Yes. <laughs> you are so fucked. Oh, most certainly. I was actually just getting all of my final affairs in order when you messaged me. I was to bequeath to you all my wob posters. Wob what? Weekend at birdies, damn it! Oh, fuck yeah! I'm always in need of something to put under my cat shit box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell you what. As an early Wiggling Day... <laughs> I love Ross. As an early Wiggling Day thing, you know what I'll do? I still don't really get what Wiggling thing is, but no, what? I'll enable the Brobots novice setting again for you. Wow. Uh, thanks, I think. But don't count as the whole thing. Uh, but that don't count as the whole thing. I'll think of something better to do. And uh, For now, peace, Jake, and good luck on your robo, robo quest. <laughs> Jake, commence robo quest. <laughs> Baby. Star, that's scary. Star, that's, hor that's a horrifying thing for you to say. <laughs> Homestuck came out Wait, Star, what act was it in when you discovered it? I was in ninth grade when Homestuck came out. I didn't start reading Homestuck until, like, the first year of high school. I didn't start reading Homestuck first year okay. of high school? When I was reading Homestuck for the first time, that's when the, the Kickstarter thing happened. Oh my god. I didn't start reading. <laughs> oh wow, Star. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus! Oh my god! 
I'm 11 years older than Star. <laughs> oh my god! No! I'm aging! Oh god, my bones! They're turning to dust! What? What? Wait a minute! No! My bones! My bones are dusting! Like Thanos! Snap them! Away! Oh god! <laughs> Except you snap your own bones, and that's what makes him start dusting. Thanos snapped my bones! Exclusively my- No! <laughs> those are my bones. Those are my, like, those are my uh, joints in my fingers. Don't call me old man! <laughs> the snap of time! <laughs> <laughs> it's great, because uh, you'll hear every time I snap my neck now. My neck constantly needs to crack. No! I can't even teach myself geometry. <laughs> You're going to turn into a blob if it's just your bones. I saw. Your bones leave and you turn into a blob That's fetish. That's definitely a fetish. Anyways. It is time to get dead serious about hunting down a robot that looks exactly like your best friend. Destroy it with your gun somehow and steal its uranium. Oh, uran- Uranimum. Uranium. But then the thing behind you that you were oblivious to starts grumbling. You totally forgot about the frightening fauna on this island and its regrettable realness attribute. Jake, turn around. That's something I don't want to think about, actually. I already have back pain. S? Question mark? Nope. You leave it to the tropical island for- I like at this point of the comic, Hussie was like, nah, you don't get any fucking S's yet. You leave it to the tropical island Frey in an attempt to violently pacify the gigantic earth crab dad. What is he even doing here? The question doesn't even occur to you. The island has just been crawling with these things for as long as you can remember. You glance at the crudely rendered battle, direct your browser to the Homestuck Bandcamp page, and <laughs> browse for suitable battle music. Oh god, there's so many songs. Yeah, even back then there were so many songs. Which one would be a good fit for the school? Wait, yes. There's one. That's perfect. You hit play, close your eyes, and become lost in the visions of gnashing crustacean carapace, smoking M9 casings, and Jake doing that thing where he flies through the air shooting two guns at once. Yes, so awesome. Jake, fly through the air shooting... Two guns at once. Ryan, you could be my dad. Could... No? <laughs> I mean, yes, if I was like one of those fucking um, 16 and pregnant dads. Jesus. Ryan, you could be my dad. That took me a second. I had to do the math on that. I was like... Not morally. Like, I would have to, like... Yeah, it's a stretch. <laughs> Jesus. I, I would not have... I would not have been 11. Y yes, I would have. <laughs> Shit. You're right. Yeah, actually. For some reason, I was thinking I would have been 15. Yeah, no, that's fucking impossible. I mean... Now I'm I'm just laughing at skeleton now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw... I'm gonna draw Morgana for you. This is how you draw Morgana. Ready? Okay, ready? Here we go. Oops, hold on. I feel like I'm in the fucking Sergeant Frog end credits now. Oh my god.
Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> there he is, Morgana Persona. And here's fucking Zoro in the background. The fucking sword. He goes, Persona! Great job, Joker! You're my best friend! And then Joker comes up and Joker's like, That's right, I'm Joker. That's right, I'm Joker. Here's my collar. Let me just pop my collar real quick. It's me, Joker. Here's the money I stole from the bad guys. Why does he sound like bootleg Batman? Here's the money I stole from the bad guys. And then on comes in. And she's like, why are you guys talking like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, chat. Do you guys want to see Pac-Man? I made it spore last night. No. <laughs> I mean, I know what it looks like. So I'm not the Germa. <laughs> oh, dude, I love Pac-Man! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do the thing where you fly through the air shooting two guns at once. The thing isn't even that big of a deal for you. You do that thing practically every day on Hell Murder Island. You furiously salvo of deadly bullets scares the frightening fauna off into the jungle. Realness attribute and all. Now the triumph for adventure. Time to blow the smoke off your Berettas and saunter off into the... Whoa, not so fast. Behind you, Jay. Aha! You got... You got you, son of a... Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, no. It was only one of those sweet little fairy bulls. You just murdered him inappropriately with your multi-bullet device. You love those little fairy bulls. You just feel awful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He coming. Jane, implement plan of last resort. You've waited long enough. Dad's legendary car wash won't last forever, and the day isn't getting any younger. You pack up Pop-Up's book and bust out your trusty homing device. Are you aware that we're essentially on the last arc of the comic? I don't like that. <laughs> it's going to take several years to go through it, but yeah. <laughs> like, think about that. This is the final act. <laughs> that lasted well, for no. fucking five years. We're in Act 1, Part 1, right? Act 1, Act 1? Act 6, Act 1. Uh, yeah. Act That's six. still Act 6. Yeah, but wait until we get Act 6, Act 1, Act 1. Or whatever it started being. Bunny. God, he is such a little troublemaker. Hopefully he will mind his manners today. Frog. Jake, exit forest. Frog. J Jake, behold zoological splendor. Suplender. Good. -da -da -da. No, hold on. <laughs> Please tell me you're getting like the really bad recorder version. No, nope. no, nope, nope. I'm getting the real one. Well, I'll do you one better and link the bad one to the chat then. They know what it is! They've seen it a million times, it's a meme! You look bad. Thanks, lady. Looks like the centaur herd is out in full force today. You have to be careful about walking under them. There are extreme hazards involved, such as threat of falling manure or milk. Jake, examine Frog Temple. They do live in herds. 
There are ruins you'll be making your way toward once you've got the uranium. Still need to locate that enigmatic robot. He's out there somewhere, just watching. You could feel it. Can't let your guard down for a second. Or you'll get served like a dude on Butler Island. Is it ever nighttime? Hey, let's think about this. Is it ever nighttime in the in on Earth in Homestuck? Not that I'm aware of. It's like always daytime. Uh oh, something's coming up. So I just thought of that. I'm like, what if we had a Homestuck comic that was like just. Homestuck nightlife. This is fucking some chill ass kids hanging out in like some like cyberpunk Ooh. nightlife world. Yeah, that's horrifying. Sorry, my mom just showed me a picture. We had a thunderstorm last night, and apparently a lightning strike hit the windshield of a car in bed. Oh. And it just like melted everything. Oh. Someone is always sleeping, but it's never night. <laughs> no! that I was thinking about that? That was a thunderstorm. That was a thunderstorm and then a meteor shower. Yeah. I don't think it's ever been night for any of these kids on Earth. <laughs> does this world- does this Earth even have night? Is that just a is that just a fucking consequence of like playing Spurb and creating a new world? Is that like there is no moon? The there sun is only always. Sun. I mean, there's that thanks for playing up in the fucking sky. Hmm. Not the encounter you were hoping for today. These things don't back down. Jane, assess damage. Poor Popov's severed head got nicked by the fireplace poker. He's going to need a lot of work this time. Over the years, your dad has spent thousands of dollars on repairs. Oh, well. How much more grounded can you already get than can you get than you already are? You stick the poker down his neck hole and jam the head back onto the spike as a temporary measure. That looks somewhat more respectable, you guess. Uh, looks like the troublemaker's father is calling. All right. Uh, how long have I been going? I have been going for... An hour and 40 minutes. That's pretty good. Uh, how long is this next dialogue? Let's see. Uh, not... Oh, well, I didn't open it yet. <laughs> I'll read this. Uh, why have you activated? Dear sweet huggy bear, are you in danger? Oh, no, I'm just trying to leave my house. Is this the real you, by the way? Yeah, it's me. I disabled the AR for, the AR for now. Okay, just make it sure. Jake was having some issues with it earlier, and I don't think he received its obfuscating tendencies in the humorous spirit intended. Oh, did they show? Oh, yeah, they showed Dirk. Huh. I guess that that's the first time they're showing Dirk. Yeah. <laughs> Out of nowhere. There he is. I don't think they've shown Roxy yet. I don't think they have either. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm catching up with the situation now. Oh, so you're talking to Jake then? Nah. I'm just reading their chat logs. Man, what the fuck? I can't leave these two alone for a minute. Can a guy get his ablutions on the fucking piece? Was it really that bad? Not really. The responder doesn't much distort my position on things usually. Its demeanor leaves something to be desired, though. I prefer it didn't make such aggressive and repeated claims of fidelity to my persona. Be misrepresenting hells of key sub subtleties, yo. Why not just turn it off, then? Keeps them both on their toes. Who? Jake and the responder. Jake needs to be more skeptical rather than take Pollyanna. To... All right, that's the end of the that's the end of the comic. <laughs> it's Earthbound, everyone, and also to a lesser extent, Mother. And also, to an even lesser extent, Mother 3. <laughs> I mean, Pollyanna is one of the... One of the two songs that were in all three. It the... was Pollyanna and Snowman. Yeah, I know. You'll never see it coming! Yeah, he, he, did, he did see a persona, and you said nothing. 
Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I, I, I believe in you. Catch um, I read that as Zemnus. I was like, "What?" I was like, "Are you playing some sort of like Kingdom Hearts Pokemon?" Good job, useless <laughs> dumbass. All right, I'm getting all sniffly now. My allergies are driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. Jake needs to be more skeptical. Rather than take Pollyanna Jackknife ass first off the whatever turnip truck is blowing through town that day, he's got to apply more critical, critical reasoning to this shit. I keep telling him, <laughs> I keep telling him, dude, you got to be more like Jane. These lectures, I presume, are roughly similar in complexion to those I'm familiar with. Those wherein I have, and I quote, got to be more like Jake. Yes, you're finally fucking getting it. I sincerely doubt that I am, said the stubborn skeptic skeptically. Let's not talk about my issues again, shall we? Shalt? That ain't a thing to say, even for you. Shush. The word shalt escaped my vocabulary any longer, just as you shalt nitpick my language. That's my turf, you're on, Buster. All right, kind of don't care. What were you saying? About what, Jake? About leaving the responder on. Yeah. Anyway, I kind of owe it to him to let the program run as often as possible. Jake? No, the responder. It's fully cognitive, self-aware entity I'm responsible for, not to mention the approximate cerebral duplicate of myself. You don't just make a clone of yourself to live in the dead-end existence where it has no chance to thrive as an individual or surpass its limitations. That'd be sick. True. Also... There are more software runs. The broader and more detailed the experimental canopy becomes. Makes for better dialogue. Dialogic partner. Dialogic? Are you saying you have conversations with your own autoresponder? Of course. Why do you think I made the thing? Hmm. That's interesting. I always guess I thought it was an elaborate gag. It's that too. I didn't know ain't was a real word until this year. Really? I mean, it's it's not a real word. It's a contraction, technically, but a very bad contraction. A shitty, bad contraction. But it exists as a real thing, yes. My friend sent me a 500-word letter help. Let, let, let a help. All right. I think I'm going to stop for the night because my allergies are going nuts. My throat's not bugging me yet because I haven't had to do car cat and won't have to do car cat for a very long time. It's just <laughs> uh, my nose is very runny. Uh, allergy medicines have been doing nothing for me lately. It's just destroyed. Yeah, I have both the combination of the sunflowers in the yard below us. Oh, uh, And Oregon uh, being on fire. Sun... Sunflowers, you say? Yes, I'm allergic to sunflowers. Ironic, I know. Chapter 6. Anyways. Um... No. <laughs> hey, we actually got kind of far. Yeah, we did. We actually made progress. Uh, that's because Doodles' internet wasn't shitting out the whole time. Uh, Alright. Well, uh, that's it for Homestuck tonight. Uh, Brittany... Yes. It's been a pleasure as always. Yes. Good good night, possible father. Not in this world. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go play Persona.